Hi everyone, this is Gary Tonincourt from morethanasnapshot.com. In today's lesson, I'm going to use a few basic tools to try to make a very simple logo. And uh, you'll get to see how to use the marquee tool, and the move tool, and maybe even the color palette. So we're going to start this off by going to File, New. And I'm just going to call this logo. And I'm going to make it 300 by 300 not very big and 72 ppi 8-bit we can leave the white background for now you can see the file size is not going to be too large because we're probably going to be using this on the web all right so i'm going to say okay and it's going to give me my canvas this white square now you'll notice that it has a little lock on it so if i want to unlock the background layer i just double click on the background layer and then i could give it a name in this case i'm just going to say okay and now my layer is unlocked when working with layers, you got to think about it as like the bottom layer is like your desk and then you layer transparencies on top of that and you can do different things on every layer. So in this case, I want a transparent background. All I have to do is click the eyeball off and now I don't see that white color anymore. When I see the checkerboard, that means it's transparent. It's not going to show any color there in my finished project. So to start building this, I need to start adding layers. So down here, this button, the new layer button, gives me this layer. If I wanted to, I could click here once and uh, or click twice and then give it a name. I'm just going to leave it for now. And I'm going to show you a little bit about using the um, marquee tools. When you come over to the marquee tools, we have a rectangular marquee tool, an elliptical marquee tool, and then a couple of others. We're going to concentrate on the top two. So I'm going to make a square first, so I'll use the rectangular marquee tool. I'm going to choose black as my foreground color. In this case, at first, it's just going to be making a selection. So I have to hold down Shift, and I'm going to drag out a nice square. The Shift helps it maintain a square instead of making a rectangle. Now, it's not perfectly centered, so I'm going to use the Move tool. Whoops. Before I use the move tool, I should dump in a color. So I'll use the paint bucket. I'll dump in a color. Since black was the foreground color, that's what I wanted. Then I'll use the move tool and center it. All right, so I have my bottom layer. Now I'm going to add a new layer. And since I don't want this to confuse us for a second, I'm going to shut the eyeball off on this one so we can just concentrate on what we're doing with the top layer. You'll notice my selection is still there. That could mess us up, so we need to, uh, we'll pick the elliptical marquee tool and just click somewhere on the screen, gets rid of that selection. So now I want to make a large circle to go on top of my square. I'm going to hold down shift again, and that gives us a circle instead of an ellipse. And, oops, something went wrong. Let me try that again. I'm going to hold down shift. And then let go. And I'm going to pick a color. In this case, I want red. And I want to dump that with our paint bucket right in that color. So a selection is like a, a bounding box that keeps my color inside of the selection. So now that I have that, I can use the Move tool and try to center that. And if I turn on my black layer, you can see that my circle is just over the square. So... Um, Let's see, maybe we want to make the circle just a little bit bigger. Let me get rid of the selection part first. If you hit Control D, that should deselect. You can see the little marching ants went away. Uh, when I did Control D, that does deselect. Now, um, I'm going to do on the circle layer, I'm going to hold down Control and the letter T, and that does transform, which gives me these handles where I can make this a little bit bigger. I wanted to make it a little bit bigger on the top and bottom. So I'm going to click on the corner here and just drag a little bit larger and then use the Move tool so that it overlaps on all sides. And then hit Enter. All right, so now it's covering that square nicely. Now as I look at this, since my background is transparent, I might want my black layer, or I could even have my red layer to be a little bit transparent. So I'm going to come over to the black layer, and I'm going to go over to Opacity. Every layer has an opacity, which I can set to, let's say I set to 50%. Notice it's not really black anymore. It sort of looks gray. If I turn on the white, 
you can see that it's gray now, not black, because it's 50% of black, which is gray. And if there's no background, you can see that it's like see-through, it's transparent. All right, so the, when working with your layers, always remember to go back to your top layer before you add a, a new layer on. It helps, you always have to make sure you're always on the layer that you're working on. So now I wanna add something else to this logo. I wanna add um, uh, a picture. So to add a picture, I'm gonna go File and Place Embedded. And then I have some stock uh, pictures here that I wanna to go to. So I'll look for the stock image that I wanna use. and it'll be this one when I hit place it puts this picture here and the first thing I need to do is it gives me the transform handles automatically when I place it in and I can click and drag oh, and hold down shift if I want it to maintain its proportions and then I can move it to the spot that I want it to be and then hit enter now the one problem with this uh, graphic that I found is that it has the word photographer there at the bottom I could simply erase it but I can show you another use for the uh, marquee tool I need to make sure I'm on that top layer I'm going to pick the uh, rectangular marquee tool and I'm going to just draw out my rectangle and cutting off the bottom and I'll do control and the letter C for copy and then controls V for paste and when I do that, it pastes my selection on a new layer. So I don't need the bottom one anymore. I can click on that layer and drag it to the trash can. And now I have this little picture of the camera without the word photographer at the bottom. Now we got to do some more work to this because obviously we don't want the white showing up here and it's not quite centered. So I'm going to go back to the move tool and we'll um, use those quick guides to snap us in place finding the center all right and then we have to deal with this white to get rid of the white you can click on this layer and then we have something over here called blend modes if i pick something like multiply for a blend mode multiply will make the white go away and we only see the black so that's a nice quick way of knocking out the background and we have a good start here to our logo and if I want to make a little more adjustment to its position I can do that alright now let's just put in some text so putting in text is easy you have a text tool if I click on the text tool I can draw out a little rectangle and then I'm just gonna type something and I'm not seeing anything because I have red as my foreground color. So I have to make sure my text is highlighted. And I'm going to choose black as my text color. And now I can see the word that I typed. And I'll type in a second word here. And if I want the font to be different, All I have to do is double click on the letter T. It highlights my text. And then over here, I have a whole list of different fonts that I could use. So I'll just pick any old one for right now. And then I'm going to use the move tool to make sure that this is uh, centered in a good spot. All right, now I need to put some more text at the bottom. So one simple way to do that would be just to duplicate this text layer. So I'll just right click on it, click duplicate layer. I'm going to call this one a snapshot, which is the end of what I want to write. And now I have to actually click and drag. There's actually two things there now. One was the copy. And if I double click on that, I can type in what I want it to say, which is a snapshot. So now it says more than a snapshot. I just need to uh, use the move tool to get it in the spot that I want it. I could do more work with the text, but I think that's fine for now. So now I have a simple little button layout 
and it's got some transparency and if I want to save it of course with all the layers I would do file save and save it as the PSD that would save all of those layers and I'll do that I'll call this one uh, logo button 2 and if I want to save it for use and have the transparency I need to save as I can leave the same name but I need to choose a PNG file so that it saves the transparency and doesn't put in a white background so I'll pick PNG so that it will do that and click save um, I don't need it to be compressed and I can have it interlaced that's fine all right and that is a finished button just using a couple of simple tools the two marquee selection tools ellipse and rectangular we use the move tool we use the color picker we use the text tool and the paint bucket tool and of course we used layers so just a few basic tools with a little bit of practice and you can make a nice little logo so give that a try and let me know how it works for you